Hello and come on in. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Go grab your cup of coffee. I am burning some Palo Santo and sage in the uh, studio. I had a very <clears throat> serious case, a serious reading that I did yesterday, and I just want to make sure everything is neutralized in the room. Um, it is not about the sage or the Palo Santo so much as it is about your intent. You can clear negative energy out of a building with chocolate pudding. It's the intent. It's the heart. It's the head. It's, it's how you come at this. Wow, look at this um, smoke right now. <clears throat> Letting me know that it is uh, helping me neutralize some negative energy that just kind of hung out in the studio after the reading. Today I'm going to talk about Mercury Retrograde. Everybody wants to know what the hell is it? What does it mean? All right. Setting up the paranormal flashlight back there as we talk. I may pull some cards throughout this uh, or after this reading just so we can kind of validate the energies. Spirit, if I have that light adjusted correctly for you back there, could you go ahead and give me a wink or blink, please? Those of you new to the channel, my name is Tina. I am a psychic medium, and I really work closely with spirit. You will see things happen in my videos you won't see anywhere else. You will see spirit orbs. You will see, um, you know, my hair gets moved, my earrings get tugged. Um, that light back there, six-inch mag light. It is a type that we use for paranormal research. It's the type that you know, us old-timers use before all the equipment. And I'm going to adjust it one more time, because if I don't have it in just the exact spot, they cannot manipulate it. All right, I do believe I have spirit. Can I, oh, 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 let me do this. Let me neutralize the light, actually, or some of the smoke. And even if there isn't any bad energy, it just kind of makes a better um, a vibe. Kind of neutralizes it. All right, let me see. Spirit, let me feel. Can I feel you take control of the light, please? Are you there? And okay, I think we do have the spot. Ah, I think I do. Okay, very good. Mercury retrograde, what's it mean? Mercury retrograde is a time when um, electrical things have malfunctions. All right, you guys. Um, yes, uh, mal electrical malfunctions happen during Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is a time when all the planets make an orbit around the Earth, okay? And when Mercury, there's a certain point when Mercury does it, and it's usually about three times a year, that it looks like the planet is going backwards in its orbit. And it's not. However, it is it is stationing over us enough that it is sending or giving us, allowing us uh, to pick up its energy and what it controls. Mercury controls um, it is a ruling planet for anything electric. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit on the Light. It is anything computerized. It is all about, Mercury is a messenger. Any kind of messaging. It is a time to be very careful when sending out emails, texts, tweets. You could send it to the wrong person. A spell check could change it up and make you look bad. It is a time when you just really, really need to look over anything that you're going to be sending. Now, I happen to be a Virgo, um, and those of you that are Virgos, it, pay attention here. Mercury is our ruling planet. So I actually feel the effects of Mercury retrograde two weeks ahead of time. It's called the shadow phase. Uh, it happens twice. It happens once before Mercury goes uh, retrograde. It happens after Mercury goes retrograde. And it's literally the energy phasing in and then phasing out afterwards. Uh, 
Um, yes, it phases in and it phases out. Now, if you happen to be a Gemini, Mercury is also very prominent in your chart. And if you want to know it, where Mercury is in your, your chart, uh, go online and pull up one. There are several places that you can look at them for free. Now, there's actually two types of astrology. Thank you, Spirit. I don't point this out all the time. There is Vedic or sidereal, and that is the more ancient Indian astrology. And then we have the modern, more tropical or Western astrology. That's kind of what I refer to most of the time as Western astrology. Personally, I like the Vedic uh, astrology myself. It kind of really hits closer to home. But Western astro uh, Western tropical astrology is what I usually refer to. So you're getting you're getting some uh, education here on a couple different levels. Um, if you pull up a birth chart for yourself, now you're going to need to know the time and you know obviously the day and the year. But go to one of those free sites. One of them is Astro Cafe. Um, there's a ton of them. Just Google it. Birth chart. And check and see where Mercury is in your chart. Now, it is a ruling planet for me, so it is it pops up all over my chart. Um, however, if you look at it and see where it is located in your chart, uh, if it is a planet that rules home, then you're going to find a, um, or an area that rules home. You're going to find that Mercury retrograde kind of just losses up things around the house. Things can be slow. They can be delayed. Um, nobody can seem to get their shit together to get out the door at the same time. So depending on where Mercury is located, thank you, Spirit. Uh, depending on where Mercury is located in your birth chart, it could be a uh, the house that rules money. It could be in the house that rules career. So wherever it is for you, it almost rules every one of my one of my houses in my chart. And I don't really have a big deal with it. Now, I get hit really hard in that shadow phase. Oh, here we are right now. And I am I've tried three times to do this video. Um, Mercury retrograde shadow phase pre shadow phase for me happens to be the one that just hit so hard. So it may not hit you. You may not feel it. You know, what, what's this Mercury retrograde stuff? I didn't know any, feel it until I started reading about it. You know, some of you are telling me. But it's always been there. You've just never connected the dots and brought it together. Now, Mercury really isn't causing it. You know, it, it does push some energy our way. Thank you. Either on or off. Mercury is just mapping out what it is before it happens. Or not Mercury, but our astro astrological chart is mapping out what is happening a little prior to that Mercury is involved. All right. Uh, let's see what else does Mercury uh, rule. It rules uh, contracts. Contract is a form of communication between a buyer and seller or whatever... Um, an employer, an employer and an employee. Contracts. You have to be careful right now if you're buying, especially anything big. Mortgage, house. Are all the I's dotted and are all the T's crossed? Now, retrograde means an opportunity to reassess and redo and relook at something. So during Mercury retrograde, it is a time when a lot of paperwork just can't, you just can't get it right. You send it in, they send it back. You missed something, you know, forgot to check all the boxes. So take your time right now. If you're entering into any contracts with anybody and just make sure the paperwork is, is, um, solid. Um, what else does it have to do with? Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Coffee break. It is a time when you may reassess a lot of things going on in your life. Who are the friends I hang out with? 
Where am I going with my life? Mercury retrograde is a time that we redo a lot of things. Uh, we relook at things. We recalibrate things. We reassess. We redo. Um, anything that begins with the RE is uh, it's a perfect time to reorganize some of your thoughts. Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. You know, usually I have all these ideas to uh, on the videos for you guys. I never go with a script. I always count on spirit to guide me, give me that information, and um, just kind of wing it. Let spirit, just let spirit lead me. All right. I'm going to pull a couple cards and see what areas... Mercury retrograde may have particular impact in your life or in general here, because this is a general reading. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, can I get one more card, please, for Mercury retrograde and what we can kind of look out at kicked out two of them. And I am also going to play the bottom of the deck. Because often when these cards catch our attention, it's for a reason. You're allowed to do that when you're playing, doing tarot, okay? There's no rhyme or reason to it, really. I know there are um, readers out there that will instruct you about what exactly a card means and where it means. But, mm -mm. none of that, no. There, there's no rules. Come on. All right. That is the Ace of Pentacles. That is telling me that a lot of us are going to be experiencing brand new beginnings. And the Ace of Pentacles is telling me that because of that little garden gate. That's a new beginning on the other side. All right. You need to be careful. We were talking about communications. We need to be careful. This is the Queen of Swords. This old bitch has a bitey tongue when she wants to. Not me, her. Uh, I have, yeah, but her in this case. The Queen of Swords. Be careful what you say. It, it, it could fly out. You can't take it back. It's just a time to just kind of chill. Don't be in a rush. And just kind of be clear with what your, your thoughts and your messages are. We have the Three of Cups. It could be a very good time for some of you to connect with uh, old friends, to get out, to celebrate, to party a little bit. Um, just kind of kick, kick your heels up, blow some steam off. Thanks, Spirit. You know, you could just blow some steam off now. I know that these are both true. I was very close to... Telling somebody off today, but I bit my tongue. <clears throat> uh, socializing. I, I was out over the weekend and was able to connect with a lot of old friends. Dear, dear friends I've reconnected with. So it, it, it's kind of starting to already show itself what Mercury Retrograde is going to bring. It is a time, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, I had to turn it over. The Eight of Pentacles. This is a time when some of our spending needs to be watched. One of the things we don't need for Mercury Retrograde in money is regret. R-E, remember. Take your time in making purchases. Again, especially if it's something electronic. You may buy a computer right now and it will not work. A radio, uh, whatever it is, electronic coffee pot. I always, now I have a coffee pot that's probably, oh gosh, how old is that thing? It's probably over 10 years old. It quits on it. It quits every Mercury retrograde. It spits, sputters, won't work, dies, can't get the light to even come on. 
You guys know how serious I take my coffee. Um, however, in the middle of Mercury retrograde, it happens in shadow phase for me. That's my that's my niche there. Um, and as Mercury drifts back out of retrograde and in the shadow phase again, the coffee pot starts working. I have the same issue with my vehicles. My engine light comes on every Mercury retrograde. Okay, it, it, it just, it's my electro, electrical field with the car's electrical field it just happens. All right, let's see what else is going on. There are, a, there's going to be some endings. Long overdue. Ten of Swords. Again, the word regret comes up there. I think you're going to regret not cutting somebody out of your life a lot sooner. Real sense of betrayal going on there for somebody with that Ten of Swords. Even remorse. Regret and remorse. However, we've got the world card. Guess how shit's going to happen on the other side of Mercury Retrograde. It's going to get better, obviously. And that's exactly why the universe sends us these trying times. The energy to put it, push us kind of through the ringer, kick us out the other side, clean and fresh. All right, you guys, there you have it. I went into a little more depth this time about what Mercury retrograde actually is. Um, I hope I make it a, a, at least a little bit understandable. It is literally a planet's gravitational field kind of giving energy and taking energy maneuvering energy <clears throat> and how it affects us <laughs> i confused me all right i'm done <laughs> all right you guys hey you know i never leave you that i don't bless you with love and light see you soon